Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mama Bear's Homestead and More. On today's adventure, what are we going to get into? You can see it. The old D19 gasser. Um, I had a friend of mine um, reach out by the name of Ross the Oliver Man. And he said, hey, I hate to tell you what you're doing, but he goes, these um, spark plug wires are not the best. He goes, I don't like them. I think it might be some of your trouble. And he told me to change my coil. So we got a, a IC14 Napa coil and solid, solid copper or solid core spark plug wires so and you know it's a kit so you gotta build them but that's all right so i guess what we'll do is start by changing the coil all right guys we're working on this coil here we'll try to get it unwired so let's go on to the key switch Okay. Ranch, black. Ah. Yep, yeah, it's about like all my other projects. I drop all my tools and wrenches and everything else. Okay, we'll get this bolt here out. We might be able to slide, slide that thing down. We also got the starter back. We can put that back on. There. There. I can see a little more of it. A lot better. We got this the old coil and the bracket off and I bring a fillet screwdriver not a, or I bring a flat not a fillet right, let's see if we got Hopefully. 
I think the new one's fatter. Normally it's the other way around. need to tighten it down then we can install it again Can you guys see that, guys? I hope. Yeah, you guys can see what we're doing. I guess I could move you right here. Mom Bear told me I wasn't that great at filming with the tripod because all you see is my back so that I would stand right right where the camera needs to be so I'm trying to get better I'd really like to hear this thing run like a lot. Not heard it run since we bought it. Or I haven't heard it run. We got this. Guys, I found a this end right here wasn't isn't very good on this wire. So uh I'm gonna go ahead and replace this end. If I have one. I should have one. But let me go dig that up and I'll bring you right back. Well guys, I got I had one. Just make sure it fits on this. But I know it will. Yep, it fits perfectly. All right. So we need to cut this wire here. Strip it back. Mm -hmm. 
get our wire end on. That all clamped on there nice and well. Okay. Okay, we got that. <laughs> put this put back on. And then I'd say we're down to spark plug wires now. Put our little wrenches back here in the battery tray. Not where they go, but okay. Right, that clicked. Mark this some out here like this. Yep. Alright. What do I do with my nippers? Right there. Alright, we got that one done. Hold that around there like that. Take this. Put. All right, and clamp this one on. Clamp that one on. Ah, forgot to put the boot on first. Hopefully we can unclamp these. Come on, little bit, or a little. 
thingy come off there Alright, alright, we got that off. So there's the boot. And the old the old plug wires were taken off. They are metallic wires. These are solid core wires. Uh, these are just better for points and generator tractors and stuff older stuff than the metallic but these boots are not easy to get on they can make you struggle Definitely gonna need some radiator hoses. Work. But we'll get there. Alright, we got this done. Alright, put this back on. I don't know why it's going to fight me, guys, because I'm extremely hard-headed, so I'm going to win. Get down in there. There, we got it. Hard. 
All right. And guys, I thought you guys were recording and you weren't, but you didn't miss nothing. Uh, but I got all six wires here changed out. Um, coil, new coil wire. Uh, new coil. Let's jump on the other side and we'll put that starter on. And see, see what we have. I just gotta get you guys set up in here. Well, that's not a very good looking view. I'm gonna lower you down. Alright, there you guys can see the starter hole. Let's get these bolts taken out. But it's all right. We didn't lose everything. Oh, yeah. That one's nothing. That one's on a step, so I don't, that one's kind of cool. And that comes down here through there. That goes back that direction. But yeah. we gotta put get a new hot wire from the solenoid down here to the um, starter. Okay, we can definitely put. Uh, a socket and ratchet down there so all right i'm gonna go get some tools and i'll be right back all right guys um thought i'd bring it with me. i did right here i took this off of the from the solenoid down to the starter well look that's not good the insulation just cracking off of this so that needs replaced so, we was at the saw shop, and he's like, all right. So, he had this. We put a new end on it. That eyelet ain't big enough to fit over my solenoid. So, I'm going to go drill that out real quick to where it'll fit up there. And I think this will be long enough to reach. Yeah, I think it will. So, I'll be right back. i got to go drill this hole out bigger. Guys, you won't believe this. I got this starter laid up here. Um, and it is literally one inch too short to hit in that solenoid. After we drilled it out and everything. Man, that stinks. And I got... I got a new one in there, but it's going to be way too long. But I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on. At least I know I have something to measure off of now. Um, I need it to be about two inches longer than this one. But, um, all right, we'll go ahead. You guys can watch me bolt this starter back up. Get it in there. Yeah, you guys can see you're in the view. Why is want to fight? Alright, we got that one in. Go ahead and get the nut with the lock washer in. No big deal. And we got this big old long half inch nut that goes on. Yeah, I can 
Man, that stinks. After we drilled that out and Remember, I was telling you guys about this wrench I found. It's five eighths on the box end, three quarters on the open end. Perfect size for this starter. Unbolt the starter. I'm gonna take one of them flat washers out of there. I don't like the way it looks. Looks like cobbled up mess. Hmm. It is a dead hole. I didn't think it would be. I think it'll work. Two out of three so far. All right, well guys, let me run and get that other um, the other wire that I have for this starter. It's gonna be way too long, but we'll just crinkle it up and make it work for right now. Uh. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, this new wire we got had here, I have no idea why I bought it at the store, but I'm not mad about it because I'm found a use for it right now but it's about five inches longer than what we need of course i don't think that's gonna hurt anything okay we got that so that is up there well i don't want to put my fuel on back here I don't want that. I don't want to go on. So, there's that. Okay. And I bet you guys have no idea where that nut went. Right to the oil bucket. Or actually it ain't oil, thankfully. It's bad gas. And that we're gonna put on a solenoid nut.
Ah, it's that ratchet don't want to switch back. But I also have a good pair of pliers here that says it needs to. They were neutral there. All right, we're tightening. <laughs> All right, guys, we got that. Then stay on top. That did not. Uh, these wrenches. All right, guys, let's go to the other side, hook the battery up, and just give it a whirl. See what she does. I think we're down to a fuel up problem. That looks like crappy fuel. Uh, but I know it ain't that old because I just put it in there. Uh, well, I'd love to hear this thing run before we rip the carburetor off of it. All right, guys, uh, the D19 is not running, but we've fixed all the ignition problems, I think. Um, I think it's in the carburetor now. So we're going to get the carburetor jerked off, open it up, see what it looks like. Hope, probably have to put a kit in it, but um, 
I'm going to leave this video here. And as always, my friends, keep on keeping on because we love every single one of you. And Jesus does too.